All right, welcome back to the channel, you beautiful people. Today, we're doing a speed season with wolves. This season, wolves have been more disappointing than an Asian kid getting a C in math. So we about to help him out. I got the team set up right now. It's Podence, Geddes, Chirore, Cunha, Nunez, Neves, Aynori, Kilman, Colin, Semedo, and Sain Gold. The main problem with this team is defense. Like, they got 24 solid attackers and two good defenders. So first out, we're going to go new center back, Nathan Collins, only 75 overall, not good enough. The same thing with the left back, Aynori, only 76. I mean, he's only 21, but, you know, we, we still need an upgrade. And finally, they have zero midfield depth like Yamutino is like 52 years old and Traore is only 66 overall we need a new backup all right first up backup center mid we're gonna go Daniel Braganza 23 years old 75 overall from sporting you know I had to get at least one Portuguese sign in here like I'm wolves it's the letter of the law we're 12.5 mil I'm gonna go 12 mil first they want 13.4 not too bad I'm just gonna go up it to his value 12 and a half mil and they accept it he's not being paid too much right now I think he's gonna want a bit of a bag I'm gonna up it to 30k yeah okay I see you boy 39.5k something bonuses oh and 40k flat he wants a little bit of bonus on the top that's okay next up we're gonna go with the center back lucas verissimo 27 years old 78 overall from benfica hey he might not be portuguese but he's from brazil so he speaks portuguese you know it's close enough 16.5 mil worth i'm gonna do the standard 16 mil flat undercut they want jimenez plus 2.6 that's around 20 mil worth i'm gonna offer in the middle you know a little bit above the middle actually 18.5 they accept it again he's coming from portugal so the wages are poverty up it's a 45k flat that's over triple bro you better accept this still more bro come on why you why you being so greedy man all right i offer 50k flat he wants a little bit of bonus on top as well as like braganza and i accept it man and last sign and left back is gonna be alfonso pedraza 26 years old 78 overall from villarreal also worth 16.5 mil like verissimo i'm gonna offer the same thing 16 mil flat they want johnny plus 10.8 that's like 10 that's like 20 mil again screw it bro might as well offer the same amount of money as well okay they accept it he's got a little bit more money than the other two as well but i'm still gonna offer him some increase i think 50k should do the trick oh Oh my god why does he want so much money nah bro some of those bonuses were crazy nah you're just getting 60k flat 67k 580k bonus all right man you know the tension is high i don't want him to walk out but that's crazy all right now the team is looking a lot more complete a lot more well-rounded and i say go for the season is to finish in the top half but our pursuit of that got off to a pretty bad start as we conceded two goals to crystal palace in the first game of the season second game wasn't much better as against man united the beyblade anthony scored in the first 10 minutes we did get an equalizer from adama but for Fernandez put us away with the pen and we lost again. We got our first win though against Brentford 2-1 and we carried that momentum into the Forest game as a composed Geddes strike was enough to get us the three points. We brushed past Leicester as well with the Geddes brace and simulated wins against Southampton and West Ham meant we'd recovered from our bad start to sit fifth after six games. Next up we have Fulham who actually gave us a pretty big challenge as Spurs legend Vinicius scored a penalty early on but two second half tap-ins from Podence and Geddes gave us a hard-fought 2-1 win. That was an important result because our next three games were against Newcastle, Liverpool, and Chelsea. First came Saudi Arabia where we got the first from an Adama header but Wilson scored off a rebound and it ended in a draw. Liverpool up next was not very fun as they scored twice in the first 20 minutes and yeah let's not talk about it. Bounce back against Chelsea though in a dramatic game as Aubameyang struck first with the penalty but Adama equalized in the 64th. Aubameyang had another penalty chance late in the game but Jose saw clutched up to earn us a big draw. November honestly had no big game so I just blocked him the whole thing but December was looking very very tasty. Started with a little warm up against Brighton which actually ended 4-4 in a quick sim. And that madness led up to the oil boys from Manchester. We struck first with the Neves pen but in the second half De Bruyne did De Bruyne things and buried a free kick. We almost stole the win with the Bergancha curler but it went wide and we drew the game 1-1. Spurs away ended in the same result as we traded goals in the first half and we split the points again. Three draws in a row though wasn't great form going into Liverpool who had already bent us over earlier this season but we actually turned three draws into four as despite hitting the post early on we kept our resolve and exchanged penalties giving us another stalemate. The final game of this gauntlet came against Arsenal and it went horribly as Jesus scored that one-on-one, -on -one, scored this ridiculous weak foot arrow, and then completed his hat trick with the pen. And that left us ninth at the halfway point of the season. On New Year's Day, we had Aston Villa at home, which after I broke this guy's entire body went pretty well as Geddes snagged a couple goals for a good win. Our good start to the year continued as man of the match Max Kilman scored a header and absolutely shut this guy down with a hate crime of a tackle. Newcastle up next, and unfortunately, our winning run ended as despite Geddes is scuffed as hell by bicycle kick Wilson equalized and we drew 1-1. By the way Geddes was going ballistic this season as he had 13 goals at this point and we were relying on him to nab a good result away at Old Trafford. But honestly this game sucked as the only chance was a Ruben Neves penalty miss and the game ended as eggshells all around. February also not too exciting only three games and none of them blockbusters so another block sim. We were getting kind of far in the cup though and on the 1st of March we eviscerated Crystal Palace to advance to the quarters. Sadly though in the next round we drew our nemesis Liverpool and you can guess how that went. Yeah we got sunned again 
and as they scored twice and then also hit the bar to end our trophy dreams. Had to keep it moving though because we had Man City at the Eddie Had coming up. Got off to a great start as Geddes smashed another one in, but the Cyborg man leveled the score line in the second half. In the 87th minute though, we got a corner where Geddes cut inside and yeah, nah, it was saved. We drew the game. Business end of the season now, nine games left. We in ninth place, 47 points. Relegation was out of the picture, but I kind of wanted to aim for Europe. And that began with a solid win against Brighton as Nunes scored the only goal of the game and we won 1-0. Next up, we had second place West Ham where we got another good win as Geddes scored early and Jose Sa saved the penalty in the 53rd. Got our third win and third clean sheet on the bounce as Portuguese duo Podence and Geddes each got a goal for a nice 2-0 win. And then a close 3-2 win against Brentford continued our ascent up the table into a massive game against Spurs. It was a day to forget for Geddes as he folded heavy, missing two big chances for us and we drew the game goalless. Still a good result though and with four games left, we sat sixth. We got a good simulated result away against Leeds, but after that, it was God forsaken Liverpool like can these guys just leave us alone like okay so they scored in the second minute but Jose saw absolute bust of a man made some amazing saves and then we equalized through Adama dog there were so many chances in this game for both sides but somehow it ended 1-1 and we survived we then choked against the other Merseyside club and that left us in sixth place holding on for dear life going into the final deciding game against Arsenal we gotta win we just we just gotta win no other way to say it Odense well, cut it inside I see Neves Neves we get the first shot of the game off it's a good save Rams down yeah, just cut it inside from the corner great pass into Adama but he misses oh we give the ball away we, oh my I did, okay I just don't I don't even know what happened there Tierney scores why the hell is he that far up the field and how the hell does he have that good of a shot on him dude why is he why is he actually playing striker what what is happening Martinelli now going down the wing we're getting dominated please very small oh, don't oh that's not a pen it's okay oh they scored again it's Tierney again nah there's no way we can let Kieran Tierney end our Europa League dreams yo come on let's get it no what is happening what is ha oh my god he almost got a hat trick all right Podence cut inside I see Nunes free Nunes please score this yes sir okay 76 minute we're in it again Adama inside Guedes Guedes through ball to Cunha no it's intercepted get the ball back no it's no don't don't say it's don't don't say it's gonna end like this get it back yes no oh it's a foul okay it's over that was a red card wait what okay it doesn't matter but like that, I, why was that a red card anyway we lost we got manhandled by Kieran Tierney I don't know what that means for us in the league now what it meant was that we finished in eighth completely out of Europe great man just great just uh, absolutely amazing I'm so happy Stupid Stupid old Liverpool won the league. Then it was West Ham second, Chelsea, Arsenal, United, Newcastle, Man City, then us. Guedes kind of slowed down, to be honest, but he still led us in goals, 19-4. Cunha was good, 15-3. Traore, 9-9. Poden, 6-10. And that's going to be about it. We achieved our original goal, which was to finish top 10, but we were so close to Europe, so now it feels bittersweet that we didn't get it, you know? Overall, though, it's a solid performance. I'm happy with the squad, happy with the signings. Verissimo especially, dude. That, that dude is a brick wall. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. If you did, comment ideas for future videos, share the video to people who you think would like it, and I'll see you in the next one.